know, all we have is this moment. You know, our next, uh, all we have is this present moment. And this is my gift from God. From playing with LeBron James and earning $16 million to begging on the street in just a couple of years, this is the story of Delonte West, which just got some positive updates. $16 million is the amount an average American would never earn in his lifetime. So how did Delonte West end up on the street? Well, we all know NBA players and their lifestyles. In the case of Delonte West, he was very generous with his family and provided everything for them. When he started having financial hardships, his mental health couldn't take it anymore. Delonte's story is a story of mental illness, but also of the human spirit and how it can conquer anything and everything. After he lost it all, money, fame, basketball, family, faith, he started begging on the street, further ruining his health with substance abuse and even getting in trouble with the law. It all started for Delante in his childhood. He was often teased and bullied because he was the kid with red hair. He wasn't black, but he wasn't white either. Since he was smaller than the rest of them, he couldn't fight back. Basketball became the only sanctuary for him to be free of everything. He persevered with basketball through high school and college. In college, he was part of considerably the best backcourt in the country, playing alongside Jameer Nelson and averaging 18.9 points and 6.7 assists. He signed up for the 2004 NBA Draft and was selected by the Boston Celtics as the 24th pick of the first round. After fulfilling his life dream of playing in the NBA at only 21 years old, he played for the Boston Celtics, Oklahoma City Thunder, Cleveland Cavaliers, and Dallas Mavericks. For the Celtics, in the 06-07 season, he averaged 11.8 points per game, and in the 07-08 season, he averaged 12.2 points per game. Then came the call from Cleveland. In Cleveland, he played his best basketball alongside LeBron James, averaging 11.7 per game. In the season of 08 to 09, the Cavs went 66 and 16, their franchise record, thanks to LeBron, Delonte, and company. In the season of 2009 to 2010, the Cavs went 61 and 21, leading all NBA teams once again. In those two years, Delonte was thriving and fearlessly scoring and battling opponents. His defense made him one of the best bench players in the league. But then, Delonte's life began to decline tragically. After a lash out with a few of his teammates, he was sent to a doctor. He was diagnosed with bipolar disorder, and he said he was struggling on the inside his whole life. It culminated with him snapping at his teammates. Wherever he would go, he would not be a good fit because of his temper. It's definitely been a spiritual journey, you know, dealing with being bipolar. A missed shot or a lost game, it can turn into a spiraling, snowballing depression type of thing where, you know, to where it takes me hours just to leave the gym, said West. Since he was bullied from early childhood, growing up without parents, he hasn't managed to fit in anywhere really. The life that we get to experience with our families, kids, and siblings is something Delante never had. Even though today he is the father of two kids, I still think he doesn't understand that concept. After struggling with life and begging on the streets, Mark Cuban, the owner of the Dallas Mavericks, finally found him at a gas station and paid for his treatment in a clinic, where West later started working. Cuban also helped him reunite with his mother and financially supported him so he could be with his family. But within a year, West was again seen panhandling on the streets of Virginia. When asked about it, he said, it is what it is. I have children, I'm in between jobs, people can help me as much as they can, but you know, as a man, I gotta do what I gotta do for my babies. It seems his mental health problems haven't gone away, even though he went through rehab and got help in every way possible. When asked about his life in the NBA, he answered that sometimes he forgets he even played in the NBA. He said that he came to peace with life on the streets, begging for money and living day by day. Even though he struggles to this day, his faith in God has never been stronger. However, he wasn't done with basketball. He wanted to play again since basketball served as a refuge from his life struggles. With the help of Mark Cuban, Delante started working on his game wanting to enter into the Big 3 draft pool. Now, what is the Big 3? It's a 3v3 basketball league founded by musician, actor, and hip-hop legend Ice Cube and Jeff Quatinets. The league consists of 12 teams whose rosters are some former NBA legends like Joe Johnson, Leandro Barbosa, Richard Lewis, 
Steven Jackson, etc. Its regular season lasts eight weeks, with additional playoff series and championships. West entered into a Big 3 draft pool as one of the three winners from the Washington, D.C. tryout held on March 12th. In the tryout, West showed why he was considered for the Sixth Man of the Year award. He dominated the mid-range like he's done in his NBA days and had some great passes to help his teammates score. His handles were too good for his opponents. On the defense, he was strong and he even managed to get an impressive block during one-on-one -on -one play. All of April, he worked on his game, wanting to play high-end basketball once again, but in the Big three draft pool, he wasn't selected. In an interview with TMZ Sports, West said, I was excited to have the opportunity. I'll be there next season. I'll be there rooting guys on. Seems like Delante is determined to return to basketball, no matter what. He even got a real job working at a flooring company. He said that he didn't want to start working full time because he still felt like he should try competing in basketball. So he managed to make a deal with the owner to work part time as a flooring installer and dedicate his free time to basketball and his family. His new boss, David Drake, told ABC News, I need a good worker and he's a good worker. We're hoping this is the start of something stable and positive for Delante. I'm hoping we will witness one of the best comeback stories ever told. Delante sure is a fighter.